From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Have you ever thought about how many hours you spend dreaming and what happens during your sleep cycles? Well, joining us this morning to help explain is Baptist Health Dr. Devin Ballard with Sherwood Family Medical Center. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yep. This is such an appropriate thing for our show and anyone who's watching this morning because we talk about sleep a lot on here. Correct. Let's talk about the two different types of sleep. Can you help define it for our audience? So everybody's heard of REM sleep, yeah. rapid eye movement, and then non-REM sleep. Uh, and uh, uh, REM sleep is what everybody actually truly needs to feel rested. Uh, but there's actually, if you do uh, like sleep studies on people and overnight studies, you can actually measure the cycles of sleep. There's actually three, uh, four cycles of sleep. Oh. Uh, and uh, the first one is like uh, when you are finally just going to sleep, almost like if you've talked to somebody on the phone back in high school and you kind of, they start falling asleep and they start talking a little weird. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, you're drifting not, like off. they're drifting off, yeah. not that quite there. It's where you can actually have muscle twitching. So some people, you'll be sitting by a partner and they'll be like kind of twitching. That means they're finally just going to sleep. Okay. So that's kind of stage one sleep. And then stage two gets a little bit deeper. Uh, your uh, a lot of the functions, your blood pressure gets lower, your heart rate gets lower, uh, and then uh, stage three is where you're almost to REM, where you can actually have some dream state at that time, okay. uh, and then uh, stage four is truly REM sleep, where your body really needs REM sleep, but your bottle, body goes through all the cycles of sleep multiple times a night. Uh, okay. So, so you, it's like a it's like an ebb and flow, kind of in and out, in Co and out. Correct. Okay. You know, like you roll over in bed and then you'll start kind of over again. Yeah. But you can get to uh, usually stage three and four sleep a lot faster once you're already asleep, where you don't quite wake up, but you're kind of you know like roll over and then you go back to sleep pretty quick. And maybe not even remember that you did that, which is why hundred percent. You know, if you're if you're with someone, they might say, "Yeah, you rolled over and said something to me last night." And you're like, "Nope, no, I didn't. Don't I remember no a thing. idea." Correct. So dreaming wise, we always say you know write down your dreams if you if you want to remember them because we forget so quickly how often or how long do we actually dream during the night most people in average dream about two hours a night however not everybody remembers the dreams yeah uh, but it, on sleep studies it's about two hours a night and uh, the cool thing is in dreams a lot of times your functions get back to normal your heart rate gets higher your blood pressure gets higher almost like you're in a wakeful state but there's a switch your body can turn off to where you're kind of paralyzed where you're not moving and in some people, that switch is not turned on where people will actually have movement disorders where they're sleepwalking or uh, I hit yeah. my partner because I'm acting out a dream yeah. and there's things that can that, that can assist with that. But, uh, but usually you're in a paralysis type state because you're dreaming and you don't want to be running in the bed and things <laughs> of that nature or, or uh, be walking out to the neighbor's house right. at night time and not remember that. Uh, so it's, uh, but sleep is extremely important. Uh, and, uh, a lot of people, there are significant amount of sleep disorders, mm -hmm. sleep apnea, narcolepsy, narcolepsy, for example, real quick is when you go from stage one to four sleep immediately, like literally the person really? is sitting in the, and then the, just the, fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, so that can be from a true uh, disorder or, uh, extreme sleep deprivation, like, AKA somebody with sleep apnea. They go from stage one and two sleep and never get to three and four mm. because they wake themselves up because of uh, not breathing. So never really feeling fully rested, Correct. which is why if you have any of those issues or maybe you don't know you do, but someone in your house has noticed issues with you sleeping, contact the Baptist Health Helpline or go to baptist-health.com for more resources available. Doc, thanks for stopping Thank by. We yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yep.